Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site. By the way, that's how you should view, in my opinion, most investments as gambling plays. Right, folks? The market's unsettled right now. As I make this video, we still have an inverted yield curve. Right? Let's talk about money. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now on Tuesday, January 23rd, since our last money video, Toyota's chairman and former CEO, Akito Toyota, said that he believed that electric vehicles would never capture 30% of the global market share. Right now, understand, folks, this is stunning because Toyota, the car company, is in the EV market. In fact, according to reports, by 2025, they're supposed to have a solid state EV battery, which would be a big step forward for the industry. Well, just to understand, Mr. Toyota gave a reason for his belief, right? He pointed out that EVs couldn't be the future when a billion people on earth have no electricity. Now the name of this article is Toyota Chairman Says Electric Cars Will Never Dominate Global Market. Again, it's from ZeroHedge.com, right? From Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. Now I reference it because we made an earlier EV video. Look up the prior high-risk uh, gambler's advisory money video money update video will understand Tesla gave their earnings report today right understand Tesla shares are falling after hours right the company has declined for now to offer financial guidance for the rest of the year understand the fourth quarter revenue and earnings missed Wall Street estimates Right, Tesla, by the way, is down 16.4% this year. Right, Tesla's having problems. It's down 2% from its $207.83 close. Now, of course, Tesla's report comes after Hertz, the car rental company, announced that it was selling not 10, but 20,000 EVs, about a third of the company's electric vehicle fleet. And one of the reasons given was because of weak demand from customers. Right, folks, I told you my own experience with a Tesla. I rode in a Tesla, I thought, wow, this is silent, this is spectacular, right? I was a passenger, right? And needless to say, I started paying attention to the situation around me, right? It, it's not like I live on a farm in the middle of nowhere. I'm in San Jose, California. For those who don't know, San Jose has more people than San Francisco, right? And to make a long story short, there just wasn't the infrastructure of gas stations, fueling stations around me to support my level of driving in a Tesla, right? Understand, I'm the person who will drive to Sacramento, who will drive to Los Angeles, right? Who will be in the car and who will forget to fuel for days, Right? I think the problem you have right now with EVs, and I'm sure we all have a lot of friends who are hot and bothered by them. Right, The problem right now with EVs is just that it's not on par with the societal support for cars. Right, Also, a lot of the folklore is phony. Right, I'm supposed to believe that an EV doesn't pollute the environment. When, of course, an EV is using things like lithium and copper, right? And, of course, you know, electricity, 
comes from natural gas, coal. The pollution is just not out of your tailpipe, it's back at the factory. So, here online, you have to be skeptical whenever you're talking about investments. Right? You cannot fall in love with public opinion. You can't even fall in love with your two eyes. When you see a Tesla, you say, wow, that's a gorgeous looking car. Right? Then you realize that, gee, the battery starts to lose the capacity to drive long distances. You understand that cold weather will further reduce the efficacy of the battery. You pass by a fueling station and you realize it takes longer to fuel up a Tesla than it does an internal combustion engine car. Well, folks, now you have people in the game. Toyota's chairman telling you that he doesn't buy the narrative that EVs are going to take over. In fact, he doesn't even buy the narrative, and he's in the game that EVs are going to get past 30% of the market. And this is at a time where you have these politicians earning brownie points with clueless voters talking about outlawing internal combustion engine cars in certain states. Right, folks, it's ridiculous. As I've said, do your own due diligence. Drive out in the middle of nowhere. Look around. Ask yourself the tough question. If I were in an EV, where would I fuel up? Right? Let me also point out, too, I'm sure a lot of people renting cars from Hertz looked around and said, man, that car looks great, and then thought to themselves, I'm renting a car so I could go out to the middle of nowhere to visit Grandma. Right? How would this EV make the trip right since i'm renting the car it's not like i have the garage that i can just fuel the car up in right i'm on the road renting the car at the end of the day folks hertz decided it needed to sell 20,000 of its evs because of weak demand from customers i'm telling you a Tesla is a smooth ride. The car is gorgeous. The interior works. All of that works. But the infrastructure doesn't match internal combustion engine cars. Investors of Tesla are finding that out today after the earnings report release. Right? Don't fall in love with public opinion when you're investing your hard-earned capital. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you, certainly, if market conditions change and if a solid-state battery drops and if they come up with what they have in China, where you can pull up to some station and they can literally take your battery out of the car and just drop a fully charged battery in your vehicle, my opinion might change. But right now, I just don't see the infrastructure in Northern California that assures me that an EV is an adequate replacement for my internal combustion engine vehicle. Let me hear from you in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.